So I'm at home today at the uh, at uh, the Bat Cave or the the Home X Lab, and what I'm going to do is look to build a recipe that gives me a visual notification uh, against my progression using some of the wearables. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give I want to give myself a visual indicator of when I make my goal on the Fitbit, so on the the Fitbit Surge, and to do that um, I'm going to use a Philips Hue light strip. This is a light strip of LED lights, which links to a um, an internet bridge, which allows me to basically you can turn the lights on and off and change them to millions of colours from anywhere on the planet. The way that the Philips works generally is it has a its own app. So if I put my phone there and open up my phone, you should see that there's a Philips Hue application that comes with the actual light strip itself, and there's a bridge that's hooked up to the router in the other room. So that allows me to basically turn this off and there's a number of scenes so if i pick pencils for instance that internet enables the light switch so it turns the lights on and off dependent on uh, which scene i pick so i turn the lights off and i pick ski the ski lights come on ski lights go off blue rain comes on blue rain goes off so that's kind of the typical way in which the philips hue light bulbs work so they're uh, an internet controlled um, light switch what i want to do though is i want to integrate them with my um, Fitbit search, uh, so my, yeah, my Fitbit search, so that when I hit a my goal for the particular day, um, the the lights change colour, so I get a visual indication without having to know that's going something on. So it's a bit of fun, so it gives me a visual indicator. So to do that, I'm going to use a web system called ifttt.com, and I'm going to create a recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto this one and click on create a recipe. And I'm going to click a trigger action, and the trigger action then gives me uh, um, an output action. So my trigger action is going to be my Fitbit. So these are all the channels that IFTTT have available to them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to the search channel box, and I'm going to look for Fitbit, which is there. And I'm going to click on that. Now I've associated my account already, so that Fitbit Surge Watch, this one. And the account, my Fitbit account is associated with my account on IFTTT. And these are all the trigger actions that I actually get on the system itself. So I'm going to do one. So when I get my daily step goal achieved, that's going to be my trigger action. I'm going to create a trigger for that. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to activate the lights depending on uh, when I've done stuff. So my output channel is going to be for that channel. So I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for Hue. And there's Philips Hue. And my Philips Hue account is also associated with my IFTT channel. So I want to turn on the lights, turn off the lights, toggle them on and off, change the color. So I think what I'll do is I will change the color as an action. So what color do I want it to be? Which lights? These are the different light strips I've got. So I'll do all lights. And the color or value name. So I'm going to basically pick a color and I'll just type in green. I want them to go green when I hit my daily goal. So create action. So there's my recipe. If my daily step goal is achieved on my Fitbit, then trigger my light strips to flash green so that I know that I've done my daily goal and give me a visual indicator. All I'm going to do is I'm going to actually I'll notify myself as well so I get an email when that happens. Click on create recipe. There you go. So my new recipe is created. And it's as easy as that to give yourself a visual indicator and link your wearable, in this case a Fitbit device, and your daily step goal challenge to your light switch so that hopefully when I hit my daily goal which I haven't done yet it'll turn the lights on and go green okay